shape. What the fuck is your bitch? I'm a publicist. I will suck my ice water. I'm a toilet. I'm built on public toilet. Shut up. I will build on your ass. Public toilet. Keep quiet. I'm proud to hear your voice. Public toilet. Let me hear your voice. 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 Let me hear
I don't know if Chioma is mistaking Tony for somebody else. And I love how Tony gave it to her. Tony is like, look, sorry, I tried to eat you because of what happened. That doesn't mean if you repeat the same rubbish, I won't do, I won't do worse than this. You understand? So me telling you sorry is like, sorry, we can get past this. Everybody stay on your lane. You understand? We are not friends, but that doesn't mean we should be enemies. So keep it cool. I keep it cool. You understand? So that doesn't mean you should try to cross your limit. And if you eventually try to cross your limit, I will double cross you. So Tony was just like, look, I don't know how to react. I will just drag your hair. And Choma was just like, so are you trying, are you threatening to attack me again? And Tony was like, do you want me to attack you? Because I will, you understand? Well, Choma's like, um, I dare you to try it again. And anything you see, you call it. Yeah, 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 whatever. All mouths, all talks. <laughs> to be honest, guys, I just hope like there'll be an episode for these two people again. I really do hope. Please, producers, director, give us something from Choma and Tony. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So, Tony, so Iyabo like invited all the ladies except two people, except Laura. You know, Iyabo doesn't like Laura. Like, for those of you that don't know, and for those of you that this is news to you, Yabo doesn't like Laura. Yes, Yabo doesn't like Laura, and she doesn't like anything connected to Laura. So the reason why she doesn't like Faith is because Faith is from Laura. So imagine Faith was from Tony. Trust me, she'll be licking that girl's ass. You understand? Trust me, she'll be licking her feet. So because Faith is from Laura, she doesn't just like her. And Yabo has this kind of um, um, sentiment about things like if she doesn't like something, whatever thing is linked to that, she will always have this negative vibe towards that, which is bad, like really, really bad. And for Tanya, I, am, I see what Tanya is doing. Like I really see what that lady is doing. I am so sorry, guys, that I said Tanya is giving me the vibes of Caroline. I take that back. The only person... The only person giving me the vibes of caroline at this point is nobody else but fate like fate is the only one putting everybody at their right places that's what caroline would do not licking everybody's feet the way tanya is doing pick me pick me pick me like tanya i don't even to go like especially for her i will spend the whole day talking about that lady she is so annoying like the fact that she's eating on someone that doesn't even care about her and eating on someone that that is even trying to like see the good in her makes me feel like what kind of person is this i don't know why she's like pouring bad energy on faith i mean she doesn't know faith from anywhere you understand she doesn't even know laura from anywhere so if the other ladies are kind of eating on faith i would say okay maybe it's because of laura but not tanya please i mean definitely not tanya so like she's just taking the side of every other person except fate starting from the first day like starting from that first time like they introduced themselves she was just saying all part of negative things i really do hope there'll be a clip for both of them all this one she has just been doing shy 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 just acting all boring like boring 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 so tanya is so so boring like so boring i was loving that lady honestly i was really loving her but at this point, I really don't know what to say. <laughs> so back to Yabo's event. Yeah. So Yabo called um, Chioma, telling Chioma about her event. Like she wants to um, take them out of, um, she wants to take them to like a cool, nice place where they can just chill and all that. And uh, she also wants to celebrate her 25 years in the movie industry. You understand? Which is nice. It's really nice. So she said she's not inviting Laura because twice she invited Laura and Laura like dodged the invitation. So I don't know what, you know, I already, I keep saying that Yabo is like the most childish person among all of them. You know, she's the oldest. Yeah, she feels like since she's the oldest, she's the smartest. No, Yabo is like the, the most petty. When I say the most petty, like the least petty, that's the kind of person Yabo is. If she feels like Laura has been dodging her invitation, I really don't see anything wrong here where she could just like invite Laura and talk things out. I called you to my event. Okay. 
like i've okay like what happened i invited you to my stuff you didn't come or you didn't show up okay like i invited you you didn't show up what happened you understand something like that trust me someone like tony would have done that someone like mariam yes would have done that you understand but not Iyabo. like i don't know why she keeps feeling like everyone needs to lick her feet while she spit on their faces like that's so disrespectful to be very honest so she not inviting laura is really really it's so annoying like it's really so annoying so yeah but she has an issues with laura but so laura laura doesn't care you understand laura is like okay so she told choma if choma wants to invite laura that's fine but she's not going to invite her and choma was like okay she she invited laura i don't know if choma feels like okay wait, as long as i invite you to somewhere you have to come um, I, you know i love the fact that laura didn't show up like i really love that at least i'll put some some things in Choma's head like you cannot just tell me to come to a place that the host could not just couldn't tell me to come like it doesn't work that way so Choma invited laura and she told laura if laura wants to invite fate fate can also come and Iyaba was like she's not going to invite fate but if Shoma should invite Laura and Laura invites Faith, she doesn't have a problem with that. Guys, I hope you get me. So if Faith comes, she doesn't mind, but she's not going to tell Faith to come. You understand? So, well, Shoma invited Laura and Laura also invited um, Faith. Guys, everybody came except Laura. And when Faith, sorry, when Iyabo saw Faith, she was angry. She was like, why will fate come who invited her you know that is so annoying the, like guys this 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 particular clip it is this particular clip is so so annoying this is the second time your boy is doing this and this is so disrespectful you already invited this lady indirectly so why are you trying to embarrass her again like why are you doing that so she was just saying telling tony that who invited fate who told fate to come that she's so nosy she's so that come on for someone that is trying to like get to know you for who you are for someone that respects you and you just feel you can disrespect the person whatever way you choose to well i love how fate handled her you know the only annoying thing is the fact that fate didn't also like slash her the way um she slashed maria oh for those of you that have not watched it don't worry i'll get to that part so after Yabo was done talking with Tony, like why did fate come, blah blah blah, she also invited Dr. Rome. And you know, when I saw Dr. Rome at the previous episode, I was just like, okay, okay, okay. But at this point, I don't know if Dr. Rome is like part of the housewife. I mean, I thought this stuff was just like all ladies. Yeah. What is a man doing in a woman's show? Okay, I won't say much. <laughs> I won't say much, Dr. Rume, because I really don't know what you are doing on this show. Fate brought you here, and now you're trying to gaslight her. Well, let's see how this is going to go. I think this is the drama I subscribed for. <laughs> okay, guys. So, um, while all the ladies were just there chilling and all that, as usual, Iyabo and Mariam brought it up again. So, Mariam said, Laura is not here. Like, is Laura coming? knowing fully well that Iyabo did not invite her. Iyabo knowing fully well that she did not invite um, Laura. She's now asking why is Laura not coming. I don't know. I really don't know what all this is, honestly. Like, I really don't know. And it's, they were just still like, Maria was now like, why is Laura not here? Why is your friend not here? Call your friend. Come on. You know, I love how fate handled all this. You guys keep saying call your friend call your friend i mean is she just my friend i thought she's also your friend you understand so faith was like um i thought she's also your friend i mean she was your friend first before she's my friend right so why don't you call her like why don't you just call her and find out why she's not here like if you are really expecting me to now be like oh lara is not coming because her husband uh, went on a trip and it will be coming that day so she won't be able to make it so i don't know if the other ladies were expecting something like that so they'll have something to talk about you understand so fate was like she's not going to call anybody okay 
let them be the ones to call so mariam just took it upon herself i would say that lady came in drunk that is just it like mariam literally embarrassed herself in this episode i don't know if she thinks she was really acting funny or she was killing the show mariam you embarrassed yourself like you would have avoided all the insults fate gave to you like you would have avoided everything and to think that everything fate said is it's hundred god you know that feeling you know that thing where someone tells you you look like a chimpanzee and when the other person looks you'll be like wow you actually look like a chimpanzee god it is crazy <laughs> fate said mariam looks like a raccoon guys to be very very honest this now nah, mariam looks like this like mariam has all been like ha 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 like she wants to swallow you so this raccoon no like mariam is giving me raccoon <laughs> i don't know where fate got that from but this lady killed it like she literally killed it i don't know what tanya on was like what is that saying a raccoon and all that hello bitch just keep it cool yeah keep acting shy keep pretending okay keep pretending like just keep being boring and let the real ladies give us some show so mariam just took it upon herself to buy another person's problem like to carry somebody's head wahala on her head like mariam no 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 anyway i always know she's always like this and the fact that she was just making noise making noise, i was expecting to see her do something to be very honest like the way she came up to attack fates i was expecting something like i was actually expecting maybe she'll drag fates weak you guys get right but my lady just came and she was standing there and she was looking at fates <laughs> and fate was like okay like is this everything i thought you have more she was just talking 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 ah so thinking that was all guys like thinking that was everything then iabo started yeah but you know i wasn't even expecting anything less from that lady this is your event you understand this is your event these two people are misbehaving i mean being the host you should keep them on check like you should be able to tell them shut it off shut it off it's okay let's move on but no yeah was not adding fuel to more fire adding fuel adding fuel and instead of being like sensible to know oh this is this is the misunderstanding and all that no she started to side maria like started taking side with maria anyway she and mariam have always been like against fate so this was like a perfect timing and she kicked maria um she kicked fate out of her of the events and all that and fate was like the whole place is even boring like really boring and i won't lie it was actually boring like really really boring so without this drama i don't know how that would have been like like i really don't know so it's a good thing lara didn't even come because <laughs> if it was the previous lara we know come on guys come on <laughs> everywhere would have catch fire because that lady that lady and tony on the other part i love the fact that tony is being um being reasonable she has always been reasonable just that don't just get on her bad side you understand so i would say tony is like tony understands fate she's like she's the only one that actually understands fate aside laura so it's just tony and laura that is team fate you understand the others are just pick me yabo pick me yabo pick me yabo which i wonder how all this will last Joma on the other part, you should keep on licking Iabo's feet. I wonder how long this whole thing will be. And for Tanya, trying to play safe, keeping it cold, pretending. Well, Tanya, our eyes are on you. If you like, keep acting boring. Like, keep acting and looking boring. No problem. No problem. Iabo is coming for you. Iabo doesn't even like you. The fact that you keep reminding her of Caroline, she will definitely like come to you she's just looking for perfect timing and i pity chioma ah there's nothing to pity chioma about because chioma has done it before and she'll do it again so guys like this is only the highlights for this episode ah i just wish this episode did not end i cannot wait for the next episode because the same way this one was hot and lit expect times four <laughs> so this is why i'll close the cutscene 
for the real housewife of lagos season 2 episode 4 i hope you enjoyed this review i hope like you didn't miss anything and if you watched the video please 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 kindly interact with me on the comment section i want to hear what you think about this ladies like please just let me know let me know i also want to hear from your own end as well okay so i hope you enjoyed this video once again please do well to like comment share and if you haven't subscribed please this is a good time for you to subscribe right please subscribe 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 but if you've subscribed thank you thank you thank you thank you so see you in my next video till then enjoy <laughs> Oh,